Okay, I'm not gonna lie. My files got completely corrupted, and I really didn't want to feel like rewriting this. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go through what everything does and does not do. Okay. Uh, because I see, I feel like that is fair. So starting off, we did some of the CSS. We started with this HTML grid background, which basically just gives us a height and puts everything just like this. We then moved in to multi-care dash container. Uh, and when we saved this, it actually moved our characters to the front. You guys can copy this code as we're talking about it. Uh, send back, basically, we're going to use the send anything to the back. This is the index of negative one automatically sends to the back. So next, we had uh, dot character. Um, so when we save this dot character, uh, it basically put a background around the character and then had a border around it. And then you still have this new character button, obviously not pretty in there, uh, but we, we target that later. Uh, before that, we car target character P, uh, which is the, the font size. Uh, so they're your paragraph size of this. So we add a margin here. Obviously it sticks off a little bit. Uh, that's also because I'm on a 1440p monitor. Um, Resizing will happen later. Might even be a later video if you guys wanted to know how to resize. Um, I don't think it's needed though. But I'm on a 1440p monitor. This is looks beautiful. Uh, obviously not the greatest looking just yet. But then we added a create button. So this create button, um, I could. I'm gonna save this. So create button, as you see now, it turned into blue. Um, you still have Bobby Smith here and then the hover of cursor. So when you hover over your cursor changes from a regular cursor to this grab. Uh, lastly, we have a logo, logo container and body wrapper. The logo container basically just puts this logo, uh, right here, depending on what your logo is. We're not adding a logo right now. We don't need to. And lastly, the body wrapper, which had a height of a hundred VH. A background image of URL image slash image background, which we had to make a image folder in the HTML and then put our background, which is our background. I just Googled one. You guys can Google whichever background you want uh, to choose. And then when we save it, we set the background size to cover. And just like that, it covers this whole side. And we're going to actually set, oh, we're not going to do anything. We're just going to keep going here. So. Now we're gonna have a dot selection dash wrapper, I'm making sure nothing happens as I don't want this to be going away and just completely screwing over. So we're gonna have selection wrapper white, uh, which basically changes your text of Bobby Smith to white and just makes it all around pop a little better. Um, next, we're gonna have a dot branding logo and in here we're gonna have a height of 12 vh and a width of 12 percent um obviously it's not going to do anything as we don't have the logo in here but uh if you guys do you guys will see okay now we're gonna do a background dash blur and in here, we're going to do a background color of RGBA of 0, 0, 0, and then 0 0.08. Um, it's not going to do much here. Not yet, anyways. And now we're going to have a dot create container. Uh, for creating the character, what we're going to do in here is width 100%, height 100%, and then a position of absolute. In that position, we're gonna have a top of zero, a display of flex, and then we're gonna justify the content in here to center, and then we're gonna align, align items to center. So when we save this, 
uh, when we create this character, what it's going to eventually do is everything is going to be uh, centered on this create button. So we'll see that in a just a second, basically. Um, so after this, we're going to have a delete delete container. And it's going to be a going to be the same thing, basically. Uh, with height, 100% position is actually going to be absolute, absolute. There we go. And then a top zero display of flex. And we're going to justify the. It's literally the same thing. It, it is literally the same exact thing. So if you go on to copy and paste it, go right ahead. Um, next, we're going to have a model contents. So dot model content. We're gonna have a height, 100%, as that's what we want. And then a width of auto, background color. Uh, we're gonna do RGBA. Uh, this time we want it to be like a gray, so 226. Let's do 226, 226, 226, and then 0 0.6, which is gonna be like a, almost like a gun smoke, I guess. And then we're gonna do a color of RGB, and this is gonna be 0, 0, 0. And that's going to give us black and then we're going to do a text align of center after that we're going to do a quick padding so this padding is going to be one rem base four rem base four rem base four rem we're going to do a position of relative in this one a border radius border radius of four pixels and then we're going to comment something out just in case we need it, but we're going to add a overflow of hidden just in case we need it and want to need it later. So when we save this, as you can see, uh, create character is right in here. You got your first name, last name, whatever. Uh, so anytime you create it, it'll pop up just like this. Uh, so far, uh, we have it shown 100% of the time. open up that one more time and scroll down so a few things now we're going to have a input as well as select uh, in here we're going to do a margin 15 pixels auto display of block width of 80 percent padding of one, one rem, and then a border, one px solid gray, and gray, and we can save. Um, you can see now that it looks um, it goes up and down instead of vertical or horizontal. My bad. So after that is all done, we're gonna go into dot btn, which is button cancel. In here, background color of RGBA, RGBA. Uh, in here, we're going to have a 218 for rev, 2424, and then 0 0.75 for that 75%, with a border of none, width of 100%, height of 20%, text transform uppercase and then transition of 0 0.2 seconds uh, that's gonna change this cancel button just look like this um, nothing too nothing too hot and uh, same thing uh, except button cancel we're gonna have a button accept uh, background color is gonna be 89 179 and then 29, and then that same exact uh, percentage here. Uh, same thing with button cancel, or or cancel dash button. So we're doing cancel dash button. Uh, it's the same exact thing, and accept dash create is actually gonna be the same exact thing as well. Um, so we're gonna copy and paste this. So cancel dash button is literally the same thing as btn dash cancel, 
and accept create is the same thing except we change this color to white. So when we save that, you can see this. Just like so. Okay, now a couple of new things. We're gonna do dot slot dash name and then button. And here we're gonna have a margin. Oops, margin of zero one bw zero one bw and then a width of 40 percent save it can't really tell a difference don't really need to see it and then we're going to do a dot play dash button this video is going to be a little longer this play button actually has a lot in here so uh please bear with me we're going to do a box dash shadow first and then it's going to be inset, zero pixels, one pixel, zero pixel, zero pixel. And then we're going to do a green color here. So you can do hashtag 3DCC21B uh, is the one I'm going to be using. We're going to do a background. And in here, we're going to do a linear gradient to bottom. And we're going to do color which color green do we want to do uh, this hashtag 44c767 uh, and that's gonna be five percent and then we're gonna do another greenish color of 5c ef2a and that's gonna be at the hundred percent mark next we're gonna have a background color and it's gonna be similar to that it's going to be that same green, so the same 441. All right, now we're going to add a border radius. Ooh, border radius, just like that. In this border radius, it's going to be six pixels. And then we do a border one pixel solid. And it's going to be a different green, so we're going to do 18AB29. And display of inline block, just like so. We're going to scroll down just so we can see our work a little better. Uh, cursor is going to be set to pointer, as that is what we want. Color of white, where you can do all Fs if you want. Doesn't really matter. Font-family is going to be, let's do Arial. Let's do Arial. Arial sounds good to me. We're going to do a font dash size of 16 pixels. Font dash weight of bold. Padding of 8 pixels and 21 pixels. And then a text decoration of none, as we don't want this button to have any of its default values. Uh, as a button does, when you click it, it'll have a border, it'll have all these stupid things on it. Just completely remove them all. And then we're going to add a text shadow. This text shadow is going to be 0 pixel, 1 pixel, 3 pixel. And then it's going to be a darker green color. So we're going to do 2F6627. Uh, colors, obviously, are up to you. Whatever colors you want. We're going to do a margin left of 20 pixels and then a margin up of 0.5 REM. So now when we save this, um, well, when you get to a play button, I should say, um, you will see, it'll, you'll see, you'll see. Uh, you'll see when we, I guess, launch, launch the game and go over all the errors. Um, yeah. All right. So next we have a similar thing. It's going to be the same dot play button. Instead of we're going to have a hover here. And basically what we're going to end up changing is this background gradient. Um, and the background color. So I'm basically just copying and pasting it in here. So background linear gradients to bottom. It's still the 5% to 100. So you can copy this. Uh, we just changed these greens. So we reverse the greens here. We reverse the greens. And then same thing with the background color. We reverse that green to uh, the other one. Not really uh, anything new there. Not really anything new. 
All right. Lastly, slot name. Slot name, button, float, right. So we had a float right there, and then we're gonna do a dot hidden, uh, which is basically display of none. And then we save. And that is actually all the CSS. So now when we go to it, look at that. We could add the logo. In fact, how about we add the logo? So we can go in here, we can select where we had this logo. So where are we grabbing the logo? The logo, actually we're grabbing the logo right here. So image, logo, PNG, okay. So let's just do that. Let's just do that just so you guys could see this whole whole feel here. Um, Let me search as well. Make sure I have all these. Okay, perfect. So, do I have the default 5M logo anywhere? I feel like I should. You know what? It might be in my recycle bin. Yes, I do. Perfect. Uh, we're just going to rename this logo. I'll rename that logo. And then we're going to put it right in the images. And just like that, if you have a logo, it's gonna look something like that. We're actually gonna keep that in, uh, just just for the just for the the giggles and stuff. Honestly, it doesn't look too bad. So now when we click new character, uh, it would bring this up. However, we're not in game, so it's not gonna bring it up right now, as it's uh, it's still gonna be hidden. But we'll get in game, basically soon, and completely test it out. Uh, clear all the errors and show you what we're doing next. But remember to leave a comment, like, subscribe, hop in the Discord if you're having any other issues. As of now, though, we are going to go in here, go into here, and delete these Bobby Smiths, as Bobby Smith will no longer be needed. And just like that, it's going to look exactly like this when you want to create, create the character. Uh... And remember, you could add as many character slots as you want. You just have to edit the CSS, edit the HTML, and you're all basically good. But thanks for watching.